Got another question on the aromatic chemistry topic. So as always, the link to the questions in the description of the video if you want to try it first. So a mechanism to start, I've already written up the reaction between the catalyst and the chlorine. So that's going to generate the electrophile, the Cl plus ion, and it also generates this ion here. Next part of the mechanism, we take a pair of electrons from the pi electron cloud in the benzene ring to the electrophile, and that's going to create this intermediate. So I've chosen to put the substitution here. So we show the hydrogen, obviously the chlorine's now attached. Partial electron cloud open where the substitution's taking place with a positive sign in. We take a pair of electrons from the CH bond back into the ring and that gives us the product chlorobenzene and an H plus ion. And the final part of the mechanism to show how the AlCl3 behaves as a catalyst, we take the AlCl4 minus ion formed here, react that with the H plus ion, get the catalyst back and we also make an HCl molecule. The equation for the creation of this DDT molecule, obviously we're going to need two chlorobenzenes and it, we're told it reacts with trichloroethanol. I've drawn it like that so it kind of matches this structure we've got in the DDT. So what's the other product? Well obviously we need to lose a hydrogen here and here so that this carbon can bond between the two rings. So we're going to lose two H's and obviously that O is gone so it's water. Number of peaks in the carbon 13 NMR spectrum of DDT is going to be six. So I've color coded all the different carbon environments. So we've got some symmetry in the molecules. So they're equivalent to each other. These two are equivalent to those two. The blues there, the greens, the yellows on its own. And so is that one there. So six altogether for that. Part C, why do we get a mixture of products when chlorobenzene is nitrated? So a couple of answers you could give. Substitution can occur in different positions on the ring or multiple substitutions could occur. And finally, really common question this one, why is phenol more reactive with chlorine than benzene? So it's all about the nature of the pi electrons. So in phenol, the lone pair of electrons on the oxygen of the OH group is delocalized into the pi electron cloud. That gives the pi electron cloud a higher electron density and it means it can polarize a chlorine molecule. In benzene, we need to say the pi electrons are delocalized, so they have a lower electron density, and that means that benzene is unable to polarize chlorine. That's why it needs a catalyst in its reaction.